Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Michael. I'm the developer behind Oka Software. We make game assets for Unity. If you enjoy this content, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I want to show off the um, Tune Kit 2, which is our latest tune shader, um, stylized shader for Unity URP. Um, so this is uh, the newest sort of release for Tune Kit, which is our line of tune shaders. This one's really cool. It has a really awesome um, editor, and um, it's also really easy to use, and it offers you a lot of capabilities and functionality. So um, we'll start by kind of going through like the main features, and then we'll go through um, how to use it and sort of go through the UI as well. So in short, um, basically this ToonKit uh, Toon 2 allows you to bring your concept art to life. Um, it's a super flexible, really customizable tune shading solution for URP. Um, you'll be able to create really beautiful materials very easily. You can create opaque, alpha cutout, transparent materials. You can cast shadows on any material. You can receive shadows from any material. Um, that really like gives your game a more natural, immersive look. You can customize the specular and rim highlights to help create unique materials. And with our configurable lighting options, you can have complete control over the final look as well. You can also debug your materials very easily using our debug view options. Um, and we'll walk through that. So that makes it easy to make changes on the fly and get your materials looking just right. It's also fully customizable and compatible. So it's developed using HLSL shader subgraphs and shader graph so it's quite easy for you to customize and extend it to meet your needs it supports up to eight concurrent additional lights so you can create you know really good lighting effects and it's um, the same as unity's urp built-in light lit shader um, it supports deferred rendering in urp and it has transparency and blend modes as well you can also control um, front and back facing and um, uh, yeah, it's overall just a really good asset, and um, this is, I think, probably the ultimate solution for creating, you know, really stunning, beautiful, and immersive materials in Unity URP. And um, this is a good fit for both beginner and experienced developers um, who are looking to introduce tune shading into their project. So now that we've talked about the sort of overall product details and what it can do, we'll go through um, the surface options and the editor to showcase how to use it and to show off some different use cases. So we'll start by using this torus knot as an example, and we'll just go to the material that's already applied onto it, which is our Tune Kit 2 material. And um, we'll go through the different surface options, surface inputs, specular and rim highlights, lighting inputs, and advanced settings. Um, so we've broken these up into different categories. You can uh, hide them or make them, you know, expose them if you want. And um, you can control the render face. So you can have back face rendering both or front face only. Um, you can change the surface type from opaque to transparent. And we'll go through that in a little bit more detail soon. You can disable shadow casting and you can disable receiving shadows. And you can also enable alpha clipping. For the base map, you can control the base map of the uh, sort of base color. You can apply a texture to it. You can apply a normal map. And you can apply a roughness map. You can also um, change the lighting options. So right now we have a linear lighting mode enabled, um, but you can switch it to a constant lighting mode. You can see how that slightly affects the lighting. Um, so these are just two different lighting options that add different levels of detail. You can control the midpoint and the strength of the midpoint. You can enable or disable specular highlights. And when you have specular highlights enabled, you can control the light color of the specular highlights. Here we're overriding it to a really bright red. 
you can um, use one of our many included DAB textures to affect the way that the specular highlight looks. And you can adjust the rotation and scale of these DABs as well. You can also enable or disable rim lighting, which is this effect here. So if we disable it, you can see that the rim lighting goes away. And when you enable it, you can see that we have it here. And you can control the threshold of that rim lighting as well, as well as the color. You can enable or disable ambient occlusion, which works with Unity's built-in SSAO solution. And you can enable or disable the ability to receive additional lights. And you can also control the strength of the ambient light that it receives. So if you turn that all the way down, you can see that those dark shadows are completely black. But when you bring that up, you can see that the dark shadows are affected by the ambient lighting in the scene. Um, you can also control these view options. So this makes it easier for you to debug the different materials in your scene. And it also um, allows you to have really unique uh, final lighting looks for different materials. So you can show only the normals, only the base color, the base lighting, the additional lighting, the ambient occlusion, um, which if I enable it, let's see and we disable tune shading, and then we go to our renderer and we add SSAO. And you can see that the SSAO is working here and you can control the intensity of it. And you can enable or disable tune shading, the SSAO as well, which gives it sort of a hard cutoff. You can enable or disable shadows, specular highlights, rim lighting, and ambient lighting. You can also control the depth test setting. So you can set it to always render, for example. Only render when it's um, you know behind another object or the default setting, which is um, in front of other objects. You can also control the depth right setting and um, the render queue options. So all in all, it's a super powerful shader. You can see here an example of um, this sphere, which has depth um, back face culling and this sphere which has you know just normal front face and how they interact. Over here we have this material receiving additional lights. So if we go here and then we disable the additional lights, you can see that they go away. You can choose to tune shade or not tune shade the additional lights. So if you tune shade it, you can control the threshold. And if you disable it, it'll just render normally using our built-in lighting algorithms. We support different transparency and blend modes. So here we have um, different cutout materials using um, additive, alpha blend, multiply, and pre-multiply blend modes. Um, and you can see that they um, can overlap one another as well. So it's super flexible and you can easily you know, change the transparency. Here's an example using alpha clipping. So we have this texture on the base map and you can use the alpha clip to adjust that. And then we have this material back here, which um, we're using a depth testing um, option on. So the depth test is set to greater or equal. Whereas if we set it to less equal, it'll sort of disappear like that. Okay, um, you might also want to enable, you know, depth writing as well. And um, yeah, so you can see that this material is kind of showing up back here. And if you set it to greater or equal, it'll um, show up only behind other objects in the scene. So uh, overall, pretty cool. Um, I think that this is definitely something that could help a lot of your projects. Um, it'll definitely help you to create stunning, you know, beautiful and immersive materials in Unity URP. Um, and it gives you a lot of flexibility with your tune shading uh, moving forward. All right, uh, I'll include a link in the description below to find out more about this asset. Thanks for watching.